This is a good game to end on because it's kind of, even though it's, it is unsettling, it's very relaxing at the same time. It's also not a very long game. We're pretty much almost halfway through it already. Almost. Another hour we will be. Are you awake? So gen I wasn't paying attention. Hmm, is that so? You still don't understand. Well then, I'll have you read these books. Hurry, hurry! Read another story, Jennifer. bird. The bird of happiness. Once a girl found a big box. The bird of happiness was inside. The bird would take her to forever land, or so she hoped, each box was smaller than the last. In a cramped, dark space, she finally found her little bird. It was far too little and far too late. The bird was long dead. It had met a bloody fate. Isn't that a fun bedtime story? When the unlucky girl closed the storybook, she noticed that the cold princess had entered the room. New music, the princess said softly. The red bird. Have you found what you're looking for, something dear to you? Oh, the new, this new song is so good. Poor, helpless, unlucky girl, tell me your tale. This almost has Alice in Wonderland vibes, this game. I don't know why I'm saving again, but I am. Resident Evil 4 has got me paranoid because it crashed one time. In the five hours I've been playing it on stream. The strong-willed princess and the wise-looking princess were talking. The unlucky girl listened in. She doesn't seem to be skittish at all, Diana. You're right, Meg. We had better push her a little harder. We'll discuss the details later. I wonder why there's no voice acting in this chapter. Okay, let's meet at our secret place. I mean, I know not, not all the dialogue is voice acted. But it's just strange to start a chapter with none. No, 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 no. Pick the thing up. Red feather. A crimson bird feather. Alright, well, we're gonna... You know what? Bef we should look for biscuits. Oh, good. We're going to start the chapter today by looking for biscuits. Because we could not find any last time. Oh, thank you, dog. Alright, no more. I'll take one. One's good. See if you can find anything else. 
with the biscuits and maybe some bacon so we can keep you healed. Another ribbon. I'm not sure what those are for. They aren't any, a healing item, because I already tried that. This month's gift, Birdie of Happiness. Great, they want another dead animal. There's something seriously wrong with the children in this video game. Actually find something? Go. No. Alright, let's have him follow the feather for now. Alright, real quick, let's try finding biscuits one more time. I need healing items. My word, there really are none. Well, next time we're in a new area, I'll search for them again. By new area, I mean area we have not explored yet. feathers on the floor. The feathers form a trail that begs to be followed. Yeah, okay, we don't need him finding these anymore. So we'll follow the bird feathers and we'll keep seeing if we can't find some biscuits. I, I guess I'm lucky that I even found one. There we go. There we go. go. All right, well, that's two biscuits. Better than nothing. Welcome back, Chase. We have moved on to the final game of, game of tonight. No, nope, no ribbons or bacon.
This is called Rule of Rose. It's a horror coming of age story. I wouldn't really know how else to describe it. It's unsettling. Sometimes it's borderline Twin Peaks. Is that blood on it? hard game to describe the story to. I've been asked that question before like two or three times. Uh, but it's about a group of just creepy kids and you play as like, uh, your character is like 17, 18 and you find this creepy orphanage and then you get buried by these kids and wake up on an airship. The strong-willed princess said. Eavesdropping, eh, Jennifer? What a bad girl. The wise-looking princess said. I know what you're doing. You're looking for the bird of happiness, aren't you? It's in a room nearby, but I don't remember the room number. The bird will die if we don't hurry, and that will make Eleanor cry. No, I bet she'll be furious. She's going to go insane. Then, let's make a wager on whether she'll cry or get angry. It's a bet. So, um, you end up on this airship and you start having to play out these weird children's stories that have bad endings. Alright, let's find the bird. I, I doubt this is going to lead us to it. Because there's feathers everywhere. And it's just taking us back into the bathroom. Sixteen. There's a blue bird with a sixteen. All right, let's let's find room sixteen. A yellow bird with a 45. Okay, maybe somewhere we can find a red bird and it'll tell us the number. 55. Alright, that is red, I think. Of course, the map's not going to tell me the room numbers. Let's find 55. Seventeen. Okay, let's check the other side here. Eighteen. Okay. Fifty-five might be in another area altogether. I did just hear something, though. Yeah, thanks. Land sketch. A land with the birds, population 834. This is like that island that's just covered in birds.
Alright, I'm gonna drop some of the items we don't need right now. There's a box labeled land. Oh, I wonder what the code is. Torn diet chart. Birdie Town Mayor's diet chart. Part of it has been torn off. I mean, Chase, you realize the password was literally the population of the bird island. <laughs> like, they gave us the password right before the box. Alright, now I'm ass well, I'm assuming we need to find the other half of this and then we'll have the next password. Yeah. One twenty four, Birdie Town Mayor's diet chart. This morning's weight, one twenty four. Great. So, this is like a shower room. This is the very interesting room. The music in this chapter is very cozy. So I'm going to, never, never mind, he can't find anything with the lollipops. And there's no more biscuits for him to find, right? Right. Nothing to find with that. I'm going to try a search with the ribbon real quick. Alright, no items at all that are useful. Four. Sketch piece. Daddy is, mummy is, the rest has been torn off. Man, they, they, they like fill, filling my inventory, don't they? Now let's see if he can find anything with this film. Nope. Alright, in that case I'm dropping it. I can't drop... No, I can't drop it because it's equipped to find. Okay, hold on. I say, because dropped items just get put in storage automatically. fun just sitting there if you use your if you'd use your head you'd have found it by now you're such a simpleton yeah like you're doing anything
Daddy plus mommy plus daughter equals the rest has been torn off. Yes. Okay. Somebody just whistled. Somebody's not in a very talkative mood. Again. A scone. Ah, uh, it's her. What are you doing? You gonna kill yourself up here? <laughs> Why won't the birdie fly to me? Why does it have to be you? Stay away. I said stay away. Don't hurt yourself, kid. Oh yeah, I forgot about these enemies. Ow. They're, um, annoying, to say the least. Stop! Scones are, um... What is a scone? It's like a English, um, kind of like a biscuit. A tea time snack adored by children and adults alike. Yeah, it's kind of like a biscuit. These things are so annoying. Yes, it's a health item in the game. Please, just, just stop. Stop. Oh, those big ones fuck you up. I remember this part of the game being very annoying. Or... And not maybe not this part of the game, but I remember daddy plus mommy plus daughter equals question mark. I remember this part of the game being or these enemies, a part involving these enemies being very annoying. Alright, so what's the password? Oh, we have to add it. We have to add to go together the. I got this. I I know how to figure out this one. It corresponds to the colors of the birds. Are you sure about that, Chase? It's got to be a three-digit. It's got. I think it's got to be a three-digit number. Well, 16 and 55 were the were two of the numbers we got. Uh, okay. Yes. I see what you're saying, though. Okay, so 16 and 55. And we need to find the third number. Oh, wait. It was... 16 and 45. No, wait. All right, that one was 45. This one's 55. 
No, I don't think this one's 37, but there's no blue bird. I think we have to go by the colors. And I'm colorblind. There's a red bird, a green bird, and a yellow bird. That's I'm guessing. I'm I'm not I'm assuming the mommy is green. So is it All right, what color is this bird? Is this yellow? Okay, so 12. What color is this bird? Okay, so 12 and 55. Twelve fifty five forty five. You want to write those numbers down? Twelve and forty five is fifty seven. Fifty seven and fifty five is a hundred and twelve. One twelve. I think I did that right. Another box. News article, July 1930, Daily Flamingo. Husband borrows 60 pounds from wife's 365 pound bank account. Okay, so the password is probably, uh, no, there's more to find. I was gonna say the password is probably So just, the, the password might be 305, but there's more to find. Oh, look, it's the rat children. Okay, what? Is this the fat girl? July 1930, Daily, daily Flamingo. Husband borrows yet another 30 pounds from wife's bank account. Alright, so...
365 minus 90. Um, so 305 minus 10, 295, 275, I think. I'm tired, but it's. I'm just trying to do some simple subtraction here. Try 275. Hopefully, I did my math right. Alone. Apparently she didn't get mad or sad. Slip of papers beneath the clothing. The moral, everlasting happiness. Once a girl found a big box. The bird of happiness was inside. The bird would take her to forever land, or so she hoped. Each box was smaller than the last. In a cramped, dark space, she finally found her little bird. But it was far too little and far too late. The bird was long dead. It had met a bloody fate. The moral, everlasting happiness, is a joke. 
How nice. The unlucky girl remembered the promise she made to her dear friend, and so she wrote it on the chalkboard. So she'd never forget it ever again. I wasn't looking. I didn't see what he said. Hmm, I see. You remember one of them. But that's still not good enough. You're such a silly girl. Hurry, hurry. Read the story, Jennifer. The Goat Sisters. Little sister wrote a letter, ba ba. Big sister munched it up, ba ba. Little sister studied her notes, ba ba. Big sister tore them to shreds, ba ba. Little sister wanted to read big sister the letter, so she fetched it from her sister's stomach. But with big sister dead in a pool of amber blood, who is there to read the letter to, ba ba. The game is trying to fuel my save paranoia. When the lucky girl closed the storybook, the wise-looking princess was in the room. The princess said softly, hmm. It's not here either. If someone else finds it, it must be something very important to you. Why don't you go find it? Brown. Jennifer found Meg's pen pencil. The name Meg is written on the pencil. There's a strange sack here. Something is rustling around inside it. Oh good, another lollipop. Can I have that axe? A design draft for some machine is posted on the wall. Alright, uh, let's see if we can find more biscuits. Go. How about more bacon? Go. A scone. Go. He found something with the scone. Another lollipop, hell yeah. Damn right. We want as many health items as we can get. Yes, lollipops are one of the best health items in the game. I think the only thing better might be the mince mince pie. Alright, nothing left to find with that. I found a clothes pin. Not sure what that's for. 
An ordinary clothespin used for drying laundry. All right. A lovely ribbon. Okay, we can drop the bird. We don't need that book anymore. We can drop the family sketch. Drop the news article. Let's see what items we can find before we move on with following the main item. The music for this chapter isn't as calming. I can't find it anywhere. A marble. What are all of these items? A tinted glass marble. No, I think I know what they're used for. I think I can leave them as gifts at the... At, uh, there's a there's a box I think I can leave them in in exchange for items, if I remember correctly. I'm going to try next time I'm at it. Let me pick this up. Stray Dog's Notes. The following are notes on the monster Stray Dog. As described to us by the beautiful Princess of the Rose. He's big, strong, scary, loyal, S scared, loyal, talkative, cleanly, and he kidnaps children who don't do their chores. Current tasks, stray, stray dog investigation, first floor restroom. Gather notes from rumors scribble on walls, assigned to Susan. Okay. There's like a trail of marbles. Go. Go. Still no biscuits in the area. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Another clothespin. This looks like a fun room. Who got like spaghetti everywhere? All right, you know, for now, let's just get back to following our main task here. Killed the snowman. Stop, 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 stop. 
What do I want to drop? I'm going to drop this biscuit for now. I'll grab it later. Ice pick. Is it a weapon? Yeah, okay. I'm just going to keep my pipe because it's got good reach. Oh, Diana, Diana. I love you with all my heart, Meg. Die, goat child. Get off me. Didn't mean to do that. Did not mean to open the map. Help. Okay, hit this. Well, you just missed me killing a, a small goat child. Go. It's okay, there'll be more combat. As long as it's not more of those bird things. Those things suck. Strong-willed princess and the cold princess were talking. The unlucky girl listened quietly. That's why I don't like her. She follows me everywhere. It's pathetic. What do you think, Eleanor? She was writing you a love letter. I already got it. And ripped it in half. Oh. I tried to make the goat eat it, but it wouldn't even look at it. I see. Well, what should I do with the rest of the letter? Perfect timing, Jennifer. I have a job for you. Part of this letter was torn off and is missing. I need you to go find it. Oh, Diana, Diana, wherefore art thou? Seems to be a letter meant for Diana, but it is torn and impossible to read. management. Margaret's Little Book, Meg. Chapters, The Prince and the Princess, Aristocrat Club Manners, Meg's Invent Invention Corner, Findings on the Land of the Imps. Prince and the Princess, Aristocrat Manners, Lesson 1, Curtsying. Aristocrat Manners, Lesson 2, Hosting, Words of the Princess of the Red Rose. Jennifer, your efforts this month deserve special recognition. You managed to find Peter and will be amply rewarded. Mag's inven Invention Corner, Torture Chair, Spinning Chair. Torture Bag, Song for an Onion, Onion Bag, Secrets of the Land of... Playroom. Following the popularity of airships, the orphanage built several. It's a torn page. Go! 
Alright, let's find the other half of the love letter. The Red Crayon Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the Prince and Princess. I promise to love thy neighbor. I shall offer a monthly gift. I shall punish the unfaithful. This is the paper collecting chapter, apparently. Go, Eleanor and I found it for the gift of the month. Don't get any ideas or else you'll be sorry. What are you looking at? Do you have something to say? Get lost before I smack you. Alright, fine. Jeez. Alright, well, what are we supposed to look for next? figured it out. Where could it have gone? There's a small bag, child. Get off me. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Great. Oh my god, why is there so many of them? I wish I had a grenade. Run. Just run. Why is this area of the ship infested with these weird children? Dog has tracked that paper scent quite a ways. We're getting close to the aristocrat club here. Might as well go up and see if I can drop off some of these marbles or something. Ribbons. Uh. Oh, good. A demon goat with a giant pair of scissors. Please. I do not want to die. I do not wish to die.
There goes all of my healing items. Oh my god. No, there's more weapons, it's just this is the longest reaching weapon I have right now. Fuck off, kid. That was close. <laughs> Hold on just a second. Sorry about that. <clears throat> no, no, no. There we go. I need to, like, find a healing item so that I can not die. I move so slowly. Oh my god. Okay, the save room's over here. We can get our biscuit we put away and eat that and then save just in case so I don't die and lose my progress. Mind. These the kids have decided to be shitheads. <laughs> All right. Well, there should be another save room around here. I just gotta remember where. This is painful. <laughs> Miss Meg, haven't seen her. 
the children in this game are uncomfortable. You brought me one of those. Give me 11 more and I'll reward you with delectable sweets. So, it is... You can... You can get items for using these. You brought me one of these. Give me three... Oh, I've got three more. Save the day. Go! It's a lot of work to get some healing items, but I guess it's kind of worth it. Go. Oh, good. Oh, fuck. Alright, screw it. Screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it. Come on, dog. All the doors up here are locked now. <sighs> I am going to be saving this though and ending the stream soon because I'm getting kind of tired. I have been up since 4 a.m.
do you have it? How could she? How could she do that to me? What did I ever do to her? I can't get along with girls like her. <laughs> it's into the onion bag for her. <laughs> Wasn't that fun? <sighs> A ragged goat doll is lying on the floor. A piece of paper is underneath it. Even true love is quickly shredded by... Even true love is quickly shredded, shredded by conflict. No, that I didn't die. I just got put in a bag and had bugs dropped on me. So she'd never forget it ever again. Um, I managed to get a minced pie. Everlasting true love. All right, well, it's 9.40. I've been streaming for nearly five hours now. Ooh, this is where we're going to wrap it up for the night. Ugh. I know it wasn't a very long Rule of Rose segment, uh, but I'm very tired. And I don't want the stream to suffer because I'm getting tired. So we're going to save it for now. But more Rule of Rose soon. Maybe Tuesday. Um, so yeah, thank you all for watching. And uh, I really appreciate you coming by and checking out the stream. And yeah, I hope you guys have a good night. More spooky games soon. <laughs>